Okay, doing the lost kin now. Like with the knight, I'm gonna be using one of these hair adorables dolls. I'm gonna start off by cutting off all the hair first and then taking off the face with 100% pure acetone. Like with the last one, I'm going to be cutting open the head so I can remove the rest of the plugs. And after all the plugs are out, just pop that back on with glue. I'm going to be using clay for these horns instead of paper because I want to be able to get the natural curves of the horns without it looking so weird. And now, covering up the toes and lips with clay. I want the arms to be straight down and I'm going to be lengthening them anyway as well as the torso so I mark out on the arms and cut them off. Remember how I said I was going to be lengthening the torso? That's this part. I mark out where I want to cut and I use my new jeweler saw and cut off camera since this is my first time actually using it. And it came out well. I'm going to be using this bit of clay as the middle. Quick tip, if you're ever reconnecting doll parts, do not ever use hot glue. I deeply regret doing this as it left the arms and the torso very lumpy.
Luckily, I had the sense enough to put the horns on with regular glue instead of hot glue, so they actually stayed on and looked decent. Now painting the body black, and now is when you can really start to see how lumpy everything turned out. For the face-ups on all of these, I've blushed the doll with black pastel because I don't have gray, and then just filled in the eyes and used a lighter gray for the eyebrows and the mouth. Putting the hair on with the normal white yarn, I'm spiraling it around and it's gonna part in the middle instead of aligning with the horns because it's not really gonna align with the horns in this circumstance. For the style of their hair, I went with a spikier hairdo instead of the normal rounder kind I usually do. And for the cloak, it's just a normal cloak with a snap and they're done. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Quirl's up next, by the way. See ya!